Hello everybody and welcome to the weekly, absolutely not weekly, recipe of the week. Today or tonight I will be cooking a carrot, zucchini, sole and basically any white fish recipe. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, as usual, doesn't take a lot of time and uh, normally eatable. So here you have the ingredients, uh, a little bit more than the last time, basically it will be carrot, zucchini, leeks, persil, lime grass, shallots, ginger, as you can see I put ginger everywhere and lime grass also, salt, pepper that you do not see in the video, however they are used, believe me, at some point, just as olive oil. So how long will this take? I should really edit better my videos before I film them. Oh here we go, right, so uh, take some Aluminium foil paper, yeah, that's the word. Aluminium foil paper, just put it in a bucket or in anything that you want to put afterwards in the oven. By the way, preheat your oven at 200 degrees. Um, peel your carrots, peel... I took two different colors because I wanted to, for it to look like nice and fancy, but basically you can use whatever you have. And then you take the special peeler that makes them into these little nice like stripes that you don't have to cut by yourself and just like peel it. And what's the rest of the carrot, just eat it. That's what I do. And uh, as you have seen, and you can't really see it now, but uh, yeah, that was wine. Um, there was a glass of wine on the left corner of the video. That's even better for cooking, like it just makes everything taste so much better. Oh yeah, and we're up to leeks. Uh, just take your leek, uh, cut it in half, then cut it in half, and then cut it in like quarters and just like mix everything in the bottom because we will be putting like on top of the veggies the fish. And then you do the same trick uh, with your zucchini. It's really, really simple. Uh, what I do with the rest of the zucchini, I just use it like for soup or like for anything. Or depends on how hungry I am and just eat it raw. And really, depends on the mood, depends on the budget, and depends on the end of the month, you know. Do the same thing with other carrots. The reason why I separated them is just that there's like a really nice free layers, you know. You don't really have to do it. Also, uh, don't put that many leeks. That was, that was a mistake. Just like one half of one is more than enough because that tasted way too liquory. Uh, no, not liquory, that would be liquor. Oh, anyhow, uh, do the same thing with your scallops. Uh, not scallops, shallots, sorry. The wine is talking, you know, works. Did work though. Um, then you do the same thing with the last zucchini. And uh, basically we're almost done. Nice, right? Uh, try not to make as much of the mess as I did, but you know, I was hungry. It's the end of the day, probably like 11 p.m. Angry, you know, basic. Well, you know what's the best part is that I can drink while filming this and you guys can't see what I'm drinking or how much of it. That's really the best part and I can't get censored for that because I'm not showing alcohol. Anyhow, uh, I, as you can see, I put fish and I have to put uh, persil on top of it. I cut some ginger on the side, put it on top of it just for the, uh, for the taste. I'll be doing the same thing with the lemongrass. Oh yeah, that's the word, lemongrass, not lemongrass. There we go, I knew there was something wrong with it. As you can see, I'm professional what I'm doing, and I absolutely know what I'm doing. And there you go. Then what you do is you just close the aluminum foil on the sides and make like little holes in it so the vapor can come out and the heat can actually come in. Can't really see them there because I did not do them before I took the photo. I did do it afterwards though. Uh, you do that, you put it in your oven that is a 200, I cooked it for like 30-40 minutes, but it depends basically on your fish, you know, the size of it, the width of it, the how raw you want to eat it, how hungry you are also. And that's what comes out when you take it out of the oven and you open it and it's nice and uh, yeah, there you go. Really easy, um, just takes a little bit more time too for cooking, you know. But yeah, you can like adapt it to whatever you want, just like use the little, the second peeling thingy that peels them into little like thingies. That's how you make zucchini pasta, which is basically zucchini cut into very small pieces, which is absolutely not pasta. It should not be called pasta. Anyhow, and here's the final photo of it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. At least at how, as much as I enjoyed the wine tonight, it was really good. It was actually the same wine as in the video. You know, trying to keep it up, trying to have the same ambiance of the video. And hope to see you soon. And sorry for this weekly video being more of uh, every two weeks or two, three weeks or whenever the hell I have some time to do this video. And hope to see you soon. Bye.